10 around the world. Help me count this middle school finals down. Game number one underway in three, two, one, go! Underway with 15 seconds on the clock in the final smash. Number one shots away from the red, from the blue. And blue will add on. Red will go off the right side of the rim and out. Try, try to pull it off for the red, no good. Blue side, off with three, two, one second left. Last second, try to pull it. Yes, saw. Ah. And it is gonna be the opportunity division with the first 10 of the game. Drivers, three, two, one, go. One minute and 45 seconds on the clock here in finals match number one. Game one, oh, so important for these two teams here. Could lead you straight to a championship in game two. Rapid fire away, goes team 33, 24, you Supernova Hydra. Meanwhile, their counterparts from Urugan in Shanghai, capturing on their own, but it is a party near the red high goal, blue high goal uncontested. Down to about a minute and 15 seconds remaining. Another catapult shot up and good. They are finding room. That is courtesy of 10 ton robotics. Blue will add on. One minute and five seconds. Another couple of shots going upstairs for the Red Alliance's side. Two more for three. Meanwhile, chasing them down, Rugon Team X. Letting them have no space whatsoever. Everybody's got a dance partner on the ballroom floor. Question is who breaks away free from their partner first? 52 seconds left to go. As everybody convenes in the middle. Over the barrier they go, but they're still alive. Using the side loader here, pin count is five, they're out in two. Double shots coming up on the red side, courtesy of Supernova Hydra. Two shots out of three upstairs, courtesy of Rurugan Team C. And another three upstairs from Rurugan Team X. As we approach less than half a minute remaining on the clock. Still plenty of time. Rollers right now looking at two to one to neutral. As they all turn into the favor of blue right now, it's three to one in favor of Blue. Blue Alliance looking to run away with this. With 15 seconds left to go. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a clear field. Everything somewhere scored. And now 10 seconds left. End game enabled. Strings firing away on one side for one red robot. Blue is out as well. Three seconds left to go. Other corner won't fire. One second left and that is the buzzer. Game one over. Who is going to walk away with game number one? Two out of three. Red Alliance, Blue Alliance full. It is a clean field. Everything either scored or in a robot. And this is gonna come down to whatever counts the refs get. That's it for game one of the middle school finals. Back on over to Grants. Thanks so much. Thanks so much, Keegan. I'm down here with one of our head referees, Jesse Canera. Jesse, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. How are you, Grant? I'm having fun. I would say I'm actually having fun. So a lot of you probably know Jesse as one of our head refs, uh, but before she was even a head ref here at Worlds, um, Jesse held a different title. Jesse, what did you do before? I was a Vex intern. Vex, it, okay. Engineering intern. Engineering intern, and then what were you after that? After that, uh, I was hired on as the Vex GDC engineer. That's right. So Vex, uh, obviously you've all heard of the GDC. Um, usually there's one engineer who's the lead for the GDC, and. Jesse, as the GDC engineer, what were you responsible for? I was responsible for designing all of the game objects and the field elements themselves. So the GDC would create the game, and then it was my responsibility to make it real. And I think the last object you worked on before leaving Vex was one that some of you might be familiar with. Yes, that is correct. The tri-ball was the last object that I designed. So one of my favorite things about revealing the game early is that we can talk about it now. So tell us about this tri-ball. A lot of people have a lot of questions about it. What is it? So it's an object of constant width, meaning if you were to measure the distance between, thank you, between this point and one of the points on this curve, it will be the same width no matter where you're measuring. So isn't a sphere a shape of constant width? Like, how did you get this weird shape? Technically, yes. But when we were designing this object, we wanted something that was not a ball. Because <laughs> balls are familiar. We've, sure. we've seen them a thousand times. Sure. Something like this, this is unique. This is exciting. This is new. But it's so, on the GDC, we use the term sometimes not ball. We think robots will treat it like a ball, but it rolls differently. It behaves differently, right? Exactly, exactly. Cool. Uh, all right. Well, thank you so much, Jesse. And uh, what do you all think of the tri-ball that Jesse designed? It's all right. It's all right. They think it's all right. All right. I think we have scores ready for Vex U Finals Match 1. Tyler and Abby, what do we got?